we're in, we're the group is it let me start over people are still joining us my name is nancy jutton and i am your host today for the podcast guesting for good and profit masterclass and i'm super excited that you have joined us today and the reason my eyes are moving off to the right is people keep on joining us which is what you would expect when things things happen right at the top of the hour I would also like to um, let you know that I'm going to stream live this training into my Facebook community because there are 2,200 and some odd people in the Facebook community that might want to watch, watch it live. And you actually might want to go back into the Facebook group afterwards to watch the replay because I'm going to drop so much yes. value that you're going to want to not only listen again, but you're also going to want to take action on and potentially get feedback around whatever it is that you do and that is such a wonderful place for you to gather because we're all of like mind we are all here to raise our voice make our impact book ourselves on more podcasts broadcasts and virtual stages without leaving our homes and there isn't anything more relevant or urgent or important in this particular day space and time in the world when for many people around the country mask requirements are now mandatory live events are iffy and if we want to speak up we have got to speak up and podcast guesting allows us to do that without leaving our houses so i am going to make an attempt to stream this into the facebook group and i'm going to give it a go and i'm going to hit the go live button oh it looks like i'm not going to be able to do that for some reason today so I'm not going to stress about it. I will still make available the replay so no one has to worry about that. And uh, we're admitting Jennifer and we're in, admitting David. And I see we've got more people in the wait in the, in the meeting. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get started. Hey, Chris Klaus. I'm so happy you're here. Really good to see you. And I'm getting, if, if, why don't you post in the chat where you're calling in from and what city, state, or country? And then I'd also like to know how excited you are about learning how to book yourself on the right podcast without leaving your house and without hiring an expensive booking agency. On a scale of one to 10, how hot is this priority for you? Go ahead and post one to 10 in the chat so I know to what extent you are excited to learn and grow. And as we get started here, I also wanna extend a huge debt of gratitude to the good folks at Direct Pay, who graciously and generously promoted this event to their entire member community of, they have a, almost 12,000 people on their newsletter list, and they've been getting messages just about every day. And I'm pretty darn sure that's why many of you are here. It's so wonderful when partners see value in what it is that you bring to the point that they would be willing to advocate to their entire communities. And I just think that is just such an incredible gift. So I want to send a huge thanks to all the good folks at Direct Pay. And if you are wondering, and I'm just checking, when you saw those emails, did you have that moment of, wow, that's so cool. I wonder what would be required in order for me to get to present to that community too. Were yours, was your nose against the glass thinking, gosh, how did she square that away? Well, how did I square that away? I actually saw someone in my own community who many of you may know, Ellen Violette, and she was being promoted by direct pay. And I, and I thought to myself, wow, what a cool thing. And I was really happy for her. But at the same time, I had something building up inside of me. And I'm thinking to myself, I want what she's having. Do you ever have an I want what she's having moment? Do you ever have those moments? Well, you can either wallow and say, wow, good for her, poor me. Or you can say, I'm going to make a request. I'm going to make a pitch that that decision maker can't resist. And what do you know? I reached out to the right person and I said, I'm just curious if podcast guesting for good and profit would be a hot topic that would serve your community. This is who I am. This is what I talk about. This is the value that your audience will take away. Would that be a value to your community? And what do you know? They had just recently done some 
research to assess the needs of their community and podcast guesting was a hot topic. So she writes back and she says, your timing could not be better. I'm so excited that you've suggested this. The answer is yes, we're all in. I start with this story because if there's something you want, if there's a, sh a podcast show that you want to be a guest on, if you want to be a guest faculty expert for some luminary that you admire, if you want to be interviewed on someone's live broadcast every week, name it, claim it, and go for it. There is nothing to prevent you from getting a big yes that can open up your world to a much wider audience. If you're calling in from wherever you are, do make sure that you have muted your lines so we don't have any um, extra sounds that will stand in the way of the awesomeness that I'm about to drop. So I see we have people from Los Angeles, New Mexico, um, St. Louis, Indianapolis, Virginia Beach. And I see a lot of enthusiasm for the topic that we're about to start. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring up some slides so that we have the opportunity to have some visuals. Now, if you joined me this morning and got all the, the useful reminders, there was actually a beautiful workbook shared with you. And it looks like this. And it should have come to you in your email. So you'll wanna check your junk promo or spam folders. It says you're in, here's how to join us. And here's the link, the link to the workbook. People always say, wow, these slides were so great. Can I have something to take away so I can take some notes? I anticipated your needs and I created that for you. And so if you've got your workbook in front of you, awesome. And if you don't, just bring out a pad of paper and start taking notes and you will get the value. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this show on the road. We're here to talk about podcast guesting for good and profit. And why does this matter now more than ever? Because quarter four is coming fast. And you have the wonderful opportunity to accelerate inbound client inquiries, qualified leads, and sales to advance your financial service business, your author yep. business, or whatever kind of business you're running. And if you want the flexibility and the empowerment to speak up, without leaving your house and without relying on other people to make it happen for you, that is exactly what I'm gonna teach you here today. Post in the chat if, the lead, if these kinds of outcomes are things that you want sooner versus later. Inbound client inquiries, qualified leads, and sales to advance your business. Give me a big yes in the chat if those are outcomes that you want. All right. Before we start, I always start with mindset, because if you could set your intention that your work deserves a much wider audience and your business is worthy of sales beyond expectation, you know what happens? You start behaving in a manner to invite those outcomes and you start- Bless you. Pardon me? If you're live on the call, do hit mute so we don't have interruptions. Thank you so much. So set your intention that your work deserves a much wider audience and that the time to do this is now. There is no someday on the calendar. We definitely need to make sure that people hear our message and that they are inspired by our message. And as you show up and be present and be provocative and connect with people that can hear your message, the beautiful thing about that is there's an audience of people that gets to experience you in all of your flavor. And in that long form conversation, they will decide that you are their person or you are not their person. But if you are their person, when you get on the phone to discuss how best you can serve them more fully, they come to you pre-sold and ready to go because they've already experienced your passion, your expertise, your sense of humor, your unique point of view. So please, Think about this in this exciting, empowering way, because now is the time. So why me? Why should you listen to me? I'll tell you why. I'll suggest why. I have been a publicist for big name and companies and companies on the rise my entire career. 
I know how to create relationships with influential hosts and joint venture partners and people of influence. And I have been able to create millions of dollars of impact for myself and for others because of those ninja skills that I have honed for a lifetime. This isn't something I just casually decided to be good at. I've spent decades becoming a masterful publicist who knows how to open a door, swing it wide open and walk through to create the kind of yeses that I want in my life and that my clients want. Number two, I don't just teach this, I do it. When the pandemic hit last March, 2020 and all live stages went dark. I thought to myself, what can I do to be seen, heard and celebrated and ultimately compensated as an expert and to, to create a revenue rush of products, programs and services for my business. And I doubled down on podcast guesting. And not only did I create these wonderful outcomes for myself, but I taught people how they could do it too. Number three, I know how to create a call to action that creates an action. And if you've been getting crickets when people say, what next do we get to do when we hang out with you? I can teach you how you can get something a whole lot better than crickets. New people rushing to get your free gift, new people rushing to buy your product, new people um, asking to chat with you, new people wanting to do amazing things with you. I have grown a list of loyal subscribers to the level of 23,000 subscribers. And I have grown a Facebook group of 2,200 members, and I have influence with people far and wide, and I can teach you how you can build that too. And number four, this is what clients say to me all the time. You are a word wizard who is so gifted in turning a phrase, you help bring the magic out of me that I couldn't find with a flashlight and a decoder ring and make it sound like me. So if you've been struggling with that kind of thing so that you can't even step up to make a pitch... I can be an incredible resource to you so that some of those struggles can be put in the rear view mirror and you can start welcoming the results that you desire. Now, I wanna say that I was laying awake at night trying to decide what personal story I should share with you that would have you feeling super glad that you joined me today. And I think the one that's most relevant to what it is that we're dealing with right now is a really simple one, which is I am a professional speaker. And when stages shut down last March, me and a whole bunch of other professional speakers are sitting on our hands thinking, what are we gonna do next? Before all of that, please hit mute because I can hear some sounds and it's distracting and, and I would really appreciate everyone hitting mute. I'm hearing breath. So I think it might be you, Chris. Yeah, I think it is. There we got it squared away. I wanna share something really personal because I think this will be helpful. My business generated in the multiple six figures, my get known, get paid in business up until 2017, when everything that could go wrong did go wrong. There was a two year window where my mother was diagnosed with dementia. She ultimately died. My husband had a stroke. He recovered. My sister got a divorce. It was a lot of drama. Our home was burglarized, including both of our cars. We sold our house, moved to a whole new city, didn't know anybody. It was incredibly derailing to deal with all of that. My business did fall apart. I'm being, I'm being transparent. And then when the pandemic hit, I thought, no, no more drama. I am not going to let this take me out. So I created the Bye Bye Boring Bio Workbook for 2020. I refreshed all of my offers and my programs. I created the Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp, and I have made more of a difference in this last two years than I had in the two years before, and I'm well on the path to creating that multiple six-figure business once again, because when I got to come back from all that challenge and all that difficulty, I decided I get to do this work. <clears throat> I get to do this work. I want to do this work, and I can touch and transform lives around the world and give you that level of empowerment that you don't have to let circumstances stop you from accomplishing the magic that you're here to bring to the marketplace. So I'm really honored that you're here with me today, participating in this, and I'm going to aim to deliver awesome value. You really can create an upside from home without leaving your house and without hiring an expensive booking agency. 
And I know that you're all excited to be here because you already answered my poll, but I'm just going to ask it again. Who here knows that podcast guesting is going to be their number one visibility strategy to speak up and make their difference? If that is really resonating for you, put a number one in the chat. Your second choice is, I'm skeptical, but curious. Put in a number two in the chat. And your third chat is, I'm free for lunch and I thought I'd listen to Nancy to lend support. Put a three in the chat. Let's see what people are saying. One, 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 one. Very, very good. Well, you're in the right place because that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about. So thanks for being here. My promise to you today is that you are gonna clearly see the opportunity that you have to speak up on podcasts and broadcasts so that you wanna start as soon as possible. My second promise is that you're gonna realize and appreciate the value of being media ready, media savvy and on message because it really does count. Number three, I'm gonna show you how to quickly create a media one sheet so everything that you need is ready to go so you can be a pro at hello. And I'm also going to share with you how you can quickly meet podcast hosts that are looking for people just like you and make a winning approach so that they choose you. And the final thing I'm going to talk about is the number one thing that you weren't expecting that's the most important thing where all the magic happens and it's not what you think. And of course, if there's another step you'd like to take, of course, I'll share with you what that could look like. So on with the show. I want you to know that Jen Evers attended a session almost exactly like this one with, and she applied everything that I taught during the session. And she sent me this thank you note that said that she booked herself on 13 shows as a direct result of what I generously shared during this masterclass. What if what Jen experienced could be your experience because you gave me your full attention and did exactly as I suggested that you do? Here again, we are on mindset. This isn't all about creating work for yourself that doesn't bring a result. This is about doing deliberate things brilliantly so that you get exactly the visibility that you want. And I hope that for all the people that are with me today and who join me by replay, that we duplicate Jen's effort 10 or 100 fold. If you wanna speak more, you have one choice and guess what it is? You will speak more. There are three ways that you can. You can speak up to your own community, your Facebook community. You can go live in your LinkedIn. You can go live from your business fan page. You can create a YouTube channel and create an audience, but you can, there are people who are following your work who want to hear more from you and you can speak up and share with them. You can also share with the audiences of other people when invited. I was invited by direct pay as a result of my pitch, of course, to deliver this content, but they saw the value in it and shared me with 12,000 people multiple times over the last week. Who do you know that could benefit from hearing from you where what it is that you talk about adds value without competing so that together you're stronger than you are alone? And of course, the third circle is to speak up on the podcasts that are right for your message. If you think of each of these circles as a leg on a stool, the stool is very sturdy because you have a foundation to deliver your message to more of the right people so that when you have the opportunity to say, if you'd love to learn more about me, here's a juicy, delicious, intoxicating gift or assessment or call to action that you'll definitely want to take. And I can't wait to see what happens next as we continue our relationship. You can touch and transform hundreds or thousands of lives by speaking up in these three simple ways. So what my invitation is for you is to get ready for those big opportunities now so you can be the podcast guest speaker or expert who gets booked brilliantly and routinely and again and again amen that means that you need to stop winging it you need to get ready to play big and you have to believe and behave as if the result was already real because how you do anything is how you do everything 
And if you believe that your work deserves a much wider audience and your business is worthy of sales beyond expectations, sit up, show up and stand up and deliver so that people believe you. Because you know what? They will when you believe it yourself. You really can take control over your destiny when you speak up on these stages. And when you're ready for opportunity and you show up like a pro as your own best self with your quirks, your missing pieces, whatever it is that you have to share, the right people will resonate with what you have to share and the people who are not a fit won't commit. And either way, it's fine because you want to talk to more of the people who are ready and primed to work with you because they fell in love with you on a show. And you don't want to waste your time with people who, for whatever reason, aren't your class of tea and you're not theirs. So I'm going to start out here with the part of this that people find the most intoxicating because we're going to talk about making money. Thank you for muting yourself, whoever you may be. <laughs> Thank you. Judy, I see you joined us. So glad you're here. What is your favorite way to serve your clients? I'd like you to post in the chat. Do you deliver professional services? Do you sell your book individually or in large quantities? Do you provide group training or speaking? VIP days, semi-private coaching? Do you lead a Facebook group? What exactly do you do that hastens the path for the greatest revenue rush in your business. This is like if you have a pie and you sliced it, the greatest share of your income comes to you in this particular way. Please post in the chat. I would love to know who's here and to see what it is. Okay, private coaching, psychic consultant and author, coaching, coaching, coaching. Private coaching now, but working toward corporate training. Okay, very good. Me too. Great minds think alike. So knowing what it is that you do, what I want you to think about is the average value of a client. What is the average value for each of your clients, the lifetime value? Is it $1,000? Is it $2,000? Is it $5,000? What figure can you pretty much reliably count on that when you get a new client behind your velvet rope, that that is the revenue that will flow your way. Because if you have that amount in your head, just imagine if you were on 20 of the right podcasts in the next 12 months, and there were hundreds or thousands of people that heard the message, and only one person per podcast said you were their person, if you take that one person and you multiply it by the average value of your client, that could potentially be a six-figure flow of revenue into your business simply because you spoke up and shared your message and had a juicy conversation that folks who were listening thought so highly of that they knew that you were the person that they wanted. Would that be a welcome outcome for you? And here I'm being very conservative. Many people have coaching programs that are far in excess of $5,000 for a lifetime value of a client. 20 podcasts times $5,000 is $100,000. Who wants that? Put a yes in the chat that you'd love to speak up and welcome $100,000 new revenue in your business because you spoke up and shared your message or your story. I'm just gonna look and see. Yes, yes, lots of exclamation points. Love that. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about here. So let me just lay it out for you. I checked this morning on Listen Notes, and there are over 2.3 million podcasts on the air today, and more are starting every single hour. Hosts are looking for experts just like you. These audiences are already in place for some of the more established shows. So if you speak up on a top podcast that's got 20 or more episodes or 200 or more episodes or 300 or more episodes already in the can, you as a guest expert get to borrow the authority that that host has already created for their voice and it gets to transfer to you. So when you speak up, 
not only do you have the live audience paying attention right then and there, but that podcast episode is going to live online and be searchable indefinitely so that it can be a lead generating machine for you for as long as it's online. And that, my friends, is incredibly intoxicating. These shows live on forever. And the listeners have to use their description. People who listen to podcasts, these are people that care about learning more and earning more. You've probably heard the statistics that people on LinkedIn earn more money than people on Facebook by a considerable factor. Well, the same is true. People who listen to podcasts earn more money than people that don't because they prefer to use automobile university and commute time to learn more and earn more and advance their skills as opposed to entertaining themselves with things that don't allow them to advance. The beauty for you is that you get to tap into a more upscale audience of people that invest in their success and have the discretion to do so. And what do you know, they just might be investing with you. Beautiful thing about podcast guesting is it is free to do. You should not pay to be on a podcast in my opinion. The only cost is the value of your valuable time to assign to being a guest on a podcast, which means, of course, that it's important for you to choose well, because if you have the wrong audience to message match, you could be wasting your valuable breath talking to the wrong people, and I don't want that for you. So what I want to do in the next period of time is I want to quickly get you ready to be podcast ready so that you can start speaking up and sharing your message. A couple of practical, tactical things you need to think about is what will the viewers or the listeners see and hear? In my experience, some podcasts are audio only, but some of them have a video component too. So you're going to want to pay attention to what people can see behind you. You're also going to want to have a microphone that is separate from the one that's in your computer. And you're also going to want to have a headset nearby just in case it's required. Because audio quality is the greatest gift you can give to your listeners and to your host. And you know what? Sometimes when you fill out the guest form to be a guest on the show, you will receive a message that says, if you do not have a professional microphone and headset on hand already, we're canceling the booking. If you truly want to show up and speak up and be present for these opportunities, you got to get ready to go to the show before you go. I spoke with Michael Neely, who is a veteran podcast host and someone who has hosted over 400 guests, and he recommends the ATR2100X for proper quality, versatility, and reasonable pricing. If that suits the computer system you have, that would be something to consider. I use a blue Yeti microphone. I'm not super technology savvy. So whatever it is that you work with in your computer, see if either of these choices will work for you and you will be off to the races with beautiful audio quality. That's a gift to every listener who gets to hear your message. Now I have a fun, sassy system. It's six Ps and today I'm gonna guide you through it. You're gonna prepare, you're gonna position yourself as the guest that a host can be excited to welcome to their program. You're going to prioritize the right shows that would be right for your message. So every time you step up to the microphone, it's a win all the way around. You're going to pitch like it really counts because it does. And I'm actually gonna demonstrate how to do it. Then you're gonna ping pong people back into your world when asked for your call to action so that you can profit. And a couple of bonus tips for you in the P department is every time you speak up to a stage, live or virtual, podcast, broadcast, television, you name it, you must be present to that opportunity. You must look directly to the camera, you must Bring your best self forward so the people who are watching can really feel your intention, feel your commitment, feel your conviction, because that presence is going to be the most important 
energetic quality that will create the connection so that people can say, wow, that's the expert, the solution provider that I've been searching for. And oh, by the way, it's you. The other thing that's really important in the P department is the importance of practice. You know, you don't go to Oprah the first time out of the gate. You should probably prove your points and build up your confidence by being on smaller shows where the audience and the situation could be more forgiving and then getting the dance of the dialogue down. Because sometimes in my experience working with speakers, experts, and authors who may be unfamiliar with podcast guesting, when the microphone goes live and the camera's going live, sometimes people get nervous. They have a hard time getting the butterflies to fly in formation. They feel stilted, uncomfortable. They trip over their words. Practice is so important, which is why I always recommend to my clients, book yourself on at least two shows a week, every week, week in and week out. And I've even talked to some podcast hosts who now got 200 or 300 or 500 episodes and they confess, I can't bring myself to listen to my inaugural show. I was so bad. I'm embarrassed. But anything you practice along the path to master, you get better at. And the next time you show up, you're better. When you know better, you do better. And all of a sudden, you are that it person that people want to talk to. Because not only do you deliver value, but you do it in such a lovely, generous, gracious way that they can't wait to hear what next you have to say, chances are you'll be a repeat guest instead of a one-time wonder. So let's talk about being prepared for a moment. A host is going to want to know who are you, why should they care, and what value do you have to bring to the audience? They don't want to know what you're selling because they want to know what you're here to talk about. So your number one thing to do is to create a host friendly bio that introduces you in the third person and showcases what it is that you have to bring to the show and the conversation you want to start so that the audience and everyone who's a part of it can benefit. One of the biggest mistakes people make is they start sharing their client attracting bio as a podcast introduction. And that really isn't what the podcast is about. The podcast has its own agenda. So you want to adjust your bio so that it's right for that situation. If this is a, a new idea for you, decide that you need a bio to attract media interviews. Reflect on who your ideal client is, the results you bring about and what sets you apart. Prove your value and your impact with your credentials, your experience, or testimonials. Put some personality into it and make sure it's short enough to be easily read by a host. It's just that simple, although some people find it really hard because who you are and what you do is so convoluted sometimes. If you've ever struggled writing your own bio, say bio cringe in the chat. Because boy, oh boy, I have worked with people across the country who have had bio cringe, who subsequently have bio pride when I turn a phrase to their advantage. And if I can help you, I would love to be able to do that. Here's a bio for myself that I'm offering as an example. And you can mirror this as a template, if you will. Do you have a handle in front of your name? And if so, what is it? I've called myself the Get Known, Get Paid Mentor, Nancy Jutton. And who do I work with? Speakers, experts, and authors who want to become sought after podcast guests who speak their way to six figures and beyond. What qualifies me? I combine my years of public relations agency success, proven online marketing strategies honed since 2009, and my velvet boot of accountability to kick clients into an empowering and sustainable gear of performance and profits. If that one cent, that one paragraph is all I get, I'm really happy with that because whoever's listening knows who I am, who I work with, what outcome they welcome, and what qualifies me and what sets me apart. If I get more words to use, 
I'll mention that I'm an Amazon number one best-selling author and a consistent content creator who speaks up on 40 or more podcasts and virtual stages each year with my sassy sound bites leading the way. And then, of course, I indicate the, the ways that I love to work and where people can get in touch with me if they know that I'm the person that they want. If you take a picture of this slide or use your workbook and just create something similar for yourself, your host-friendly bio will be ready just like that. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a media one sheet so that a host can take you seriously as a potential guest. A media one sheet is a one sheet of paper that has your photo, who you are, what you do, what you like to talk about, how to book you, and perhaps some social proof around what's so hot about you. Well, Bill Schulteis has been featured in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, Morningstar, and NPR, which instantly visually portrays that he's got it going on. He's got a beautiful image of his book, Coffee House Investors Ground Rules, and he indicates his key focus. In one sheet of paper, you know what he's all about, and you know whether or not you want it. My husband is also in the financial planning world. And he loves to talk about financial lessons inspired by movies, television, and song lyrics, COVID-19 pandemic financial strategies and tactics, how much is enough, and other urgent questions to answer when you want your money to last as long as you do, and the one mistake to avoid in your retirement plan. He has thought through what it is he wants to talk about in a way that hopefully will be timely, newsworthy, relevant, and interesting. If the host sees this and says, wow, financial lessons inspired by movies, television, and song lyrics, Steve can sing a few bars about how Aretha Franklin died without a will and what kind of a problem that's going to create for her heirs, or what happened with Michael Jackson or Prince or James Brown. He can even talk about the financial lessons we learned at the halls of Downton Abbey and what they mean to us here in the present day. He has a fun, kitschy way of talking about complex matters that regular people across the country can understand. And he's media ready to share those, which sets him apart from every other retirement person that just talks about how to save enough money so you don't end up in a van under a bridge with your cat. So a media one sheet is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And here's another example. And here's something I think you're going to really like. Um, I want you to um, go ahead and download the Media One Sheet gift template. In a moment, I'll be able to share with you the Media One Sheet gift template that you can go and get so that you can actually create yours today. And you can post yours in the Facebook group so that we can take a look at it and see how media savvy you are. But when you're creating yours, don't just say you will learn blah, blah, blah. What you wanna do is to add some curiosity, intrigue, urgency, or specificity to what it is that you're here to talk about. Like for today, during this session, you will learn the value of being media ready, media savvy, and on message with your one sheet leading the way. You'll learn how to quickly meet podcast hosts, even if you're brand new to podcast guesting. You see, by adding that even if you're new, it helps someone realize, oh, this is for me too. And the number one consideration you must make before you take your place at the mic and it's not what you think. That has intrigue. That makes people actually want to show up and say, well, what is the answer to that? I can't wait to hear it. So when you're writing about what you want to talk about, put some sizzle in the steak so that the host will read it and feel the sizzle to the point that he or she will say, yes, I want to talk about that too. So if you want to download the Media One Sheet gift template and you haven't already done so, you can go in a separate browser to mediaonesheetnow.com and this simple template will download for you. And all you need to do is upload your photo, put your short host-friendly bio in the, in the template, add your media topics, your social media. And if you're lucky enough to have credible praise from people with big names, or logos from major media outlets that have seen, heard, and celebrated you so far, go ahead and use them because it helps differentiate you from someone who just hung out their shingle yesterday and nobody knows their name. 
Are you excited to download the Media One Sheet gift template? <laughs> Type in MOS, M, MOS in the chat and say like, exclamation point. Go get it. It's my gift to you. Generosity is one of my core values. And so I know you're going to love that. So now your mindset's set, correct? You've got your media one sheet dialed in. You know what it is that's going to pave the fastest path to the cash by having some kind of an invitation to drive people to get into your world. Now you're thinking, I want to get myself booked on some shows and I want to get some quick wins right away. And what do you know? I'm here to tell you how you can make that happen. <coughs> do you want to you want to be a guest? So they're going to ask you for a hashtag, be a guest. And so let me show you how fun this can be. On Facebook, there is a group you can join called the Podcast Guest Collaboration Group. And last time I checked, there are like 23,000 people that are in that group. Some of them are hosts and some of them are guests. You can go there every morning with your morning coffee and scan what people are looking for. And if you see something that is a fit for your expertise, you can put your hat in the ring. There's another site called Matchmaker FM and another site called podmatch.com. These are free matchmaking sites that you can join today. And they each have their own profile scenario that you have to complete. But if you've already created your media one sheet, it's likely a situation of cut, paste, and go to create your profile there. The beautiful thing about Matchmaker FM and podmatch.com is that they match you with shows that are right for you and tell you so by email. And all you have to do is pick up the fork, pierce the meat, and rock and roll. If you only, there are dozens and dozens of sites like this that I could tell you about, but these are the three that I use most readily. And these are the three that I think you should use most readily to create the quick wins that can get you seen, heard, and celebrated sooner versus later. And so uh, now I'm gonna dig into some of the finesse involved. And I think you're gonna get a lot of value from this. Notice what hosts are looking for and how potential guests respond. This is what happens all the time. I'm looking for a guest who can talk about A, B, or C. And then there's 54 comments that say, pick me, that's me. Do you think any of those people stand out saying that? No, they don't. They sound like everybody else. So I'm gonna share with you some examples of how you can stand apart and get booked and be the one that, that sets the standard for how other people should do it. And when you do respond, do dot your I's and cross your T's and tend to your spelling. And when you do respond and they have a form that you need to fill out, fill it out like it counts because if you schlep it together like it's an administrative exercise and you don't put your heart into it, it will be received in the same manner in which you schlepped it together. Quality in, quality out, keep that in mind. This applies to podcast guessing and everything else that you do. So this is fun. The podcast guest collaboration site had at the moment that I pitched here in June, 20,500 members. And Lucy Liu writes, I'm looking to find a guest female for my podcast in the area of marketing, small business growth, 20 minute audio only. Thank you. And she shares a link to her podcast. You see, it says 56 comments, 54 of them were, that's me. Let's talk. She doesn't have time to talk to 55 people. She wants to know that you're the one she wants without having to have a conversation. So what did I do? Number one, I listened to the show. Number two, I noticed how many episodes she's produced and how many five-star reviews were already in place. Number three, I chose an episode that I was interested in to actually listen to so I would be in a position to post my own five-star review. And why does that matter? Because podcast hosts want to be seen. They want to be heard. They want more subscribers. They want more five-star reviews. And if you care enough about the host and the show to post your own five-star review, 
Do you think they're going to take a closer look at what you have to offer to bring to the show? Yes. So I congratulated her on the number of episodes and all the reviews. I listened to a show and demonstrated through my comments that I really did pay attention to the specifics of the show. And then I dialed in, since the focus of your request is for business owners who can talk about business lift, what about talking about podcast dream guest strategies? This is who I am as the author of this book, someone waving the flag for better pitches to start juicier conversations. I'd love to be a guest then this is where I really stand apart. You can count on me to share out the episodes so you get more downloads, reviews, and super fans of your own brilliant work. I can't wait to see if we're a fit. And then I gave her a link to a page on my site where she could get all of my promotional assets, my photo, pictures of my books that I've written. She could access interview questions that she could use to save herself time preparing for the interview. There's even my backstory there about how my business started and how it's grown since then. Everything a host would want to know about me is posted there so that her job is easier. And why is that? Because I want to be their favorite. I want to be the one that says, wow, she was amazing. I wish I had 10 more guests just like that, which is why I teach these courses, because I want you to be that way too. Because what happened? Hi, Nancy. Thank you very much for your interest to being a guest. Your message definitely stood out and I'm excited to chat with you. Please fill out my form. And what do you know? I was on the show two weeks later. Bam. See here and celebrate your host before you ask for something for yourself. This applies to so many other things, but it paves the path for you to get exactly what you want and to stand apart from everyone else who's schlepping it together because they didn't know any better. Same thing with Patty Farmer. She's looking for podcast guests for her Marketing Media and Money podcast. She said what she was looking for, private message me with questions. She had 21 comments. I wrote back with a story that I thought was compelling. She said, love to have you on the show. And what do you know? I was on the show. Not only was I on the show, but I loved the show so much that I asked her to be a guest on my show. And one good thing led to another. And all of a sudden, we're like very good friends now. Wonderful things happen when the microphone goes silent, when the host and the guest realize that they should have been friends for decades, and they're only so glad that they met each other just now. And then you start getting into the wonderful joy of saying to the other, I have three people I can introduce you to where you could be a guest. And I have three people where you could be a guest and we should joint venture. And you know what? I think I should be doing business with you. And you know what? You should be doing business with me. And would you be a columnist for my magazine? And will you do this and will you do that? When the microphone goes silent and you have just had the most amazing conversation with a rock star guest, be arms wide open to welcome more rock star results of which you and your expertise are so worthy because that is the way it works and that is the greatest possible outcome. Here's another really great outcome. When you are seen on shows that are hosted by people of influence, other hosts are listening to those shows because they're looking for guests. And when you show up brilliantly, you start getting people reaching out to you to be a guest on their show. And here's one more ninja strategy, which is, when the show is over, merchandise the heck out of it. Share it across your social media. Post it to your LinkedIn profile among your featured media. Include a link to it in your newsletter. Blog about it. See what else you can do to amplify that message. Because other hosts notice what a great job you do on the back end. And every host is looking for guests who will not only show up on the show, but merchandise the show too. When you become the 100% 360 degree perfect guest from start to finish, you will welcome more invitations than you know what to do with and you will have a hard time keeping up. And this my friends is a first world problem to be dealing with in this marketplace that we find ourselves in today. I want to encourage you to have a one minute audio pitch so you can get booked on a podcast if ever you are asked, if ever you are asked, because you know what, 
you could be in a clubhouse room and someone will say, well, what do you talk about on a podcast? And you should be able to say something like, were you a speaker who was sidelined during the great pandemic and found yourself with zero bookings and zero dollars coming into your bank account? Boy, do I feel your pain. Me too. And that's why I decided to double down on podcast guesting to create a revenue rush for my products, programs, and services. As a guest on your show, I will generously share ways that your listeners can do the same to create that same kind of outcome or something even better. My name is Nancy Jutton. You can find me on Instagram and let's book a chat. You need to be able to say something just like that. And you know what? I have done that time and time again and welcome bookings one right after the other because I've got it dialed in and I can drop it like a hat. Can you? And are you inspired to want to dial that in so that you can? I promise you, this will serve you so well in so many ways. I know uh, Paulette Hamel is live with us on the call today, and she had the opportunity to be in a clubhouse room, and she delivered her one-minute audio podcast and welcomed a wonderful result. And Paulette, if you are here on the call and you want to post in the chat, I hope that you will, because I think it will be very inspiring. Now, when it comes to prioritizing, you're thinking, wow, there's 2.3 million podcasts on the air. Is that a recipe for overwhelm or what? I want you to make this so much easier. One of my clients is Bill Schulteis, and he's a financial advisor, and he has over $800 million in assets under management. He's an author of two best-selling books, and he's an incredible influencer in his industry. He reaches high. I say prioritize like Bill Schulteis, because he wants to be on shows that reach his target audience. The White Coat Investor is a podcast that serves doctors and people in the medical profession, Morningstar, The Long View, investors, National Rational Reminder, serves investors. He chooses the shows that are right for his message, and he leaves the rest to the cutting room floor. What you want to do is find and listen to the shows that are right for you. Find out who the decision maker is who makes the guest decisions see what you can learn about prior programming to see if what you talk about has been talked about before. And if not, there's your opening. And then you wanna make an approach that would turn someone's head. When you are on a show and you've rocked it, the host is going to say, well, this was amazing, Paulette. We've learned so much about creating legacy now and making sure that someday isn't another day on the calendar. I'm sure everyone who's listened to you today has loved every moment and every bit of value. What is the single, single next best step our viewers or listeners can take to move closer in your direction? That's when you wanna be able to have your singular call to action to let people know that you've got something that they should do. You wanna keep it simple, you wanna sell the sizzle, you wanna add some urgency and you wanna make it evergreen because that show is gonna live online forever and you want it to be a little lead magnet cash machine for you for as long as it's there. So what is your call to action? These are some generic things. It could be to get a, get a acquainted session on the calendar or to take the how much money do I need to retire quiz or it could be, give me a call at 1-800-CALL-NANCY. Or it could be, well, as my husband does, go to the do not outlive your money.com site to download our report to help make sure that you do not outlive your money. If retiring in the next five years is important to you, you don't wanna take any chances that you're not gonna have enough. So this report that he's created helps people appreciate his thoughtful, deliberate point of view it offers suggestions about what you can do and why you should do it now. And if you love the manner in which this information is presented, his bio and is at the bottom and there's an invitation for you to schedule a get acquainted call. But if someone's done you the kindness of help you solve a problem that's keeping you up at night, if they're looking for a solution, chances are they're gonna give you a call. So what is your call to action? Here's how it looks for my husband. Are you worried that you might outlive your money in retirement? 
If you're within five to 10 years of retirement from your career job, check out this free report packed with eight tips to make sure you don't. If you land on this and you're worried about whether or not you're going to have enough money to retire, chances are 50% of the people that land here are going to click through. Every one of those is a potential lead that my husband can follow up on to welcome new conversations that can turn into clients. And in his business, the average value of a client is far in excess of $5,000. So every lead is gold. I would imagine the same is true in your world. So let's go back to your favorite way to serve and the average value that you would assign to that work. When the right number of clients say yes to your favorite way to serve as a result of you showing up on a podcast, you get to profit and get to love your life and your work. And so I want you to practice the rule of five as you apply your podcast guesting success lessons to your ultimate advantage. I love Jack Canfield and he wrote this book, The Success Principles, and he said, even the biggest tree in the forest will come down if you take five swipes of an ax at it every single day. So what I want you to do is decide that you're going to book yourself on two podcasts a week, two of the right podcasts a week by following some of the suggestions that I provided for you today. I want you to be consistent and habitual about it. Start your day at the podcast matchmaking sites that I've identified for you. Find leads to opportunities that are right for you and follow the steps that I've outlined because you will make a winning approach that demonstrates you are worthy of that larger audience and the sales that come your way will only be a natural outgrowth of that consistent habitual effort. You have to want it enough to be persistent and you have to have enough courage to aim high to the cooler shows so that you can welcome the bigger audience. And of course, you have to practice the fine art of follow up, because if you don't follow up, nothing will happen. But I'll tell you what, when things do work out and you make an amazing approach and you deliver your content in a way that only you can, you're in your zone. The host knows it. The audience knows it. You know it. And you create relationships that extend long beyond that one show. You make friends, you create collaborations, you invite new leads, opportunities, and beautiful outcomes that you didn't even anticipate were yours to welcome. So I want you to believe and behave as if this is really the very most savvy, smart strategy that you can deploy to elevate your star on the rise and create those outcomes that you want in your business. If you love to speak, speak. I love to speak, tech not so much. It is so empowering for me to be able to speak up on a call like this, connect with people around the world, deliver value and know that something good just happened here. And there's so much more good that can soon unfold. And I want that for you. When you show up on, on a show, be early, be well-dressed, reflect your brand and reputation with every word you speak and every move you make, and make it easy for the host to feel glad that they chose you. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. And you start off like a winner and winners always gain. Don't lead with some generic, let's talk about what we could talk about. I want you to be clear about what you're here to do. Morgana Ray came to me with a speaker sheet that said speaker, author, relationship with money coach. And I said, oi, 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 Morgana, we got to do better. Author, speaker, coach, snooze, you lose. This is what we turned it into. The remarkably different, disarming and powerful relationship with money keynote speaker. So much more memorable, so much more door opening. And what do you know, the first time she used this, she got booked on five shows in a weekend. This woman is a podcast guesting machine, and you probably met her if you have. She's like five feet tall, but she is tall in, in every other good way. She is just making it happen and taking no prisoners. Find a way to say it that's not author, speaker, coach, snooze, you lose. So my question to you is, do you want to be seen, heard, 
celebrated and compensated as a result of being the brilliant podcast guest who has presence, provocative points of view, and a willingness to be generous in sharing what you're here to do and how you can help so that others will beat a path to your door. How much do you want this on a scale of one to 10? Type in question mark 10, question mark five, gauge your interest. Does this excite you? Yes or no? I'd really like to know. Because my question and my, my demand, my dare for you is I want you to step up. I want you to decide that podcast guesting is going to be your number one consistent, persistent, inspired visibility strategy as you head into the fourth quarter of 2021. I want you to ask to get booked, to make pitches that the host can't resist while always aiming higher and higher, because once you do enough of the little shows, you know you're ready for the big shows and it's time to source the courage to ask. I want you to resist the temptation to quit because not everybody is gonna say yes to, do, to you. But if one out of three pitches result in a gig for you and you get to talk to 21 or 210 or 2100 or 21,000 people on a big show, and the right people fall in love with you, what then will happen? How much more success with greater ease can you welcome by doing the thing that you were born to do and sharing your message and your personal story and the way that you are about it so that more people will wanna beat a path to your door? And I want you to take action every single day, execute, because without action, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. And I see all this enthusiasm in the chat. I love this. MOS, MOS, bio cringe. Yes, yes, yes. I love this audience. I love this audience. I love everything you're sharing with me. So I'm daring you to step up. I want you to want your result enough to make it happen because where the magic happens is outside of your comfort zone. And you know that as many of you are coaches, you know that, but it takes courage to step out and learn to do something new that may seem completely unfamiliar, but I gotta tell you, once you get going, you're not gonna be able to stop yourself. It's so intoxicating and it's so much fun. If you could do more of the kinds of activities where it's actually fun to do, would you do it? I love podcast guesting, it's my favorite thing. So my question to you is, are you gonna stay in the, the realm of I'm getting ready to get ready? Or are you ready to jump in and do something about it because today is the day and this is important to you? That's a question. My invitation to you is to please drop out of the getting ready to get ready club. Drop out. I want you to drop out starting right now because podcast guests are waiting to hear from you. And as we've already seen today, you, you've already advanced to get media ready, media savvy, and on message to welcome the results that you desire based on what I've taught you today. I would love to share with you something I have coming up very soon that just might be something that you wanna take a serious look at. I lead something called the Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp. And I wanna tell you a little bit about it, but before I tell you a little bit about it, I wanna say a couple of other things. The online world is crazy. Facebook ads are mind numbing. The algorithms are changing every single day. There's all kinds of games being played about whether or not we can reach people that we want to with the methods that the gurus are teaching us. But I wanna say this about that. Regardless of those challenges, it is not optional to be visible, face-to-face, -face, live, and connected with people who need what you have to offer. It's an imperative, especially as we go into the uncertainty of wearing masks, not knowing what the Delta variant is going to do to businesses around the country, and what we can do for ourselves to navigate around this sticky, wicked territory we find ourselves in. There are four months or so left in this calendar year. 
fourth quarter can be a bonanza for you, or it could be the alternative. What if you were on a bunch of podcasts, one right after the other, and you were so brilliant that you created enough lead flow to navigate the holidays with enough revenue in your pocket to feel really proud of yourself? If you are participating in a mastermind right now, but they're not covering podcast guesting, perhaps broadcast your brilliance could be a supplement to whatever else that you're doing. If you're telling yourself, oh, I could do this on my own, I'll, I'll commit every Monday to do this. And then when Tuesday comes around, you're doing nothing. You know that being part of a group that's gonna hold you accountable could make a difference. If you are someone who is isolated and going it alone and craving a community of people like you who wanna go bigger and raise their voices and make their impact and also wanna help open doors for you and you for them, the community that I, that I lead could be a beautiful godsend to help you meet that need and ease that pain. And if you're thinking, yeah, 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 I'm gonna get around to this in the new year, why wait? Why not learn how to get this dialed in now so that all these outcomes can be yours. If you are one of those people that is an in it to win it, get it done rock star, who loves to jump in with both feet and make magic happen in your business in close intimate community, you could be an outstanding candidate in the Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp. I wanna tell you a little bit about it. What is it you're asking? It is a 12 week journey we take together that includes training, action coaching, office hours, accountability, and community. My big overarching promise is that you will book yourself on four to 12 of the right shows and show up with confidence, clarity, and conviction. You'll be part of a community of get it done rock stars who lift each other up as we climb. We meet every Wednesday from nine to 11 Pacific by Zoom. And we also have our own Facebook community where people post all of their materials, their bios, their media one sheets, their pitches, their questions, whatever it is that they have, they tag me and I am at their service to try to support them in refining their message, adjusting their approach and supporting every single student to accomplish every goal they set and then some. There are two tiers of membership the standard tier of membership and the VIP tier of membership. It's all good. You're wondering, what's the difference between standard and VIP? VIP includes two private sessions with me where we can dial in your pitches, your strategies, your bio, your media one sheet, your audio pitch, and it can be private, just the two of us, if you're someone who needs that level of handholding and extra support. It also includes an interview with me on my YouTube channel so that you will have an audition to demonstrate to other future hosts how amazing you are on camera and how media ready you are. And that's something you can repurpose for the lifetime of your successful business. And there is one little other option is if you don't care about the interview with me, but just want another session with me, you can swap out the interview for a third session with me so that you can have all the benefit of the group work that we do and those three private sessions to feel especially seen, heard, helped, championed, and supported every step of the way. One of the concerns that I hear from people all the time is, I know I wanna do this, but it sounds like it's gonna take some time. I don't know that I can do all this myself. I've heard that before and I have an answer for you. Bring your marketing assistant, your marketing intern, or your team member with you at no additional tuition, and the two of you can divide and conquer to make this magic happen. What I've loved about the current group is better than half of the people brought their assistants along. The assistants are responding to the pitches and taking the medicine. The principals are showing up on the microphone. They're working like beautiful team emotion. But here's the cool thing. Every assistant gains a whole new skill set that makes that assistant eminently more valuable to you. And every principal is getting to speak up on more stages because they were smart enough to bring their assistant along. There's no additional tuition if you bring your assistant, but your whole team will grow stronger as a result of having made that choice. Another bonus that I have for you is if you are the first 10 people to enroll, 
I will be mailing you a handwritten note with a $150 Amazon gift card so that you can choose the video backdrop, the microphone, or the headset that you need to be a pro at Hello. So what's your investment? The standard tuition is $19.97 and the VIP tuition is $29.97. And there are only seven spots at the VIP level simply because of the extra time that's required. But if you know that's something that you want, I want you to say yes to it. And I will be rising up to meet you and give you every last bit of awesomeness that I have. Because as I said at the start of this call, I've been a publicist all of my life. I know how to turn a phrase and open a door and I will give you the words that you can't find yourself so that they become yours and they feel like you. This is my gift. One of the other things that I think is really lovely about my program, your program, is that you'll be in this program for 12 weeks and you will love it because everyone does. And when the 12 weeks are over, you can say, I love that community. I exceeded every goal I set. I loved everyone I met and I love the extra support I got. I think I'd like to renew. So you can renew for 12 week cycles and stay with me as long as it serves you. And if you're completely full after 12 weeks, you're good to go. But remember I said, what's the average value of a client? Most of you, the average value of a client is $5,000 or more. I'm inviting you to make a $3,000 investment in yourself where the skills will be yours for the rest of your life. And you will never have to hire an expensive booking agency unless you want to. I hope you're excited. Clients of mine are really excited. You know, as I said, they come in for four to 12 bookings that they're going to book themselves, but they end up getting breadth and depth in the sessions to get clarity around their offers, to make their messages more impactful, like Christopher Hodges said, or Dr. Teresa Ashby, Nancy models everything she's coached me on. I'm so inspired. Nancy's a super talented wordsmith whose ideas and approach to podcast guesting is awesome and mind blowing. Deep Paknikar got herself booked on a podcast that had over 300 downloads and the level of confidence that she gained, like it was, it was, she could feel it in her body. She says, I had no idea that the show would be viewed that many times. And then she's been welcoming spinoff engagements from it. And one good thing leads to another. Meredith Liepelt says, you would be hard pressed to find someone who knows more about booking yourself on a podcast and profiting from it than Nancy. She's the ultimate guide by your side and makes it fun and simple. I can barely keep up with so many great opportunities. Thank you, Nancy. One of the best investments in a coaching program I've ever made. Nancy brings her open-hearted generosity and crystalline brilliance to each member, up-leveling strategies, sound bites, and opportunities for success and by our sides every step of the way. Thank you, Vicki Delajoyo. And Paulette, who's here today, you're an incredible leader, but more than that, you inspire. If you know I'm your teacher, you know I'm your teacher. If you know this is what you want to do, I want to invite you to do it because I will make you brave and ignite your desire to hold yourself accountable and teach you skills to grow in ways that you didn't even know were possible. That's what Lynette said. So if you think, wow, I really wanna do this, but I still have some nagging questions, go ahead and reach out to me and tell me what the questions are. You can go to getknowngetpaid.com, apply, tell me a little bit about you and your business, and we can hop on the phone and we can work it out and see if this really is your best next step. And I hope it is because I can't wait for September 29th to arrive. That's when we start. It'll be 12 weeks. It's going to be like amazing back to school brilliance for every one of you. And you're going to become like graduate students in podcast guesting and have all the results that you want to show for it. Now, if you're one of those folks that says, wow, this was really great, but I still think I need more handholding and support before I'm willing to make an all in decision. I've anticipated that desire. I'm leading the five-day podcast visibility live lab starting on September 13th. And this is a five-day training where I'm actually going to break down what I taught you today into five bite-sized trainings, five bite-sized homeworks, five bite-sized ways to implement. And I'm going to do this over five days. And by the end of this training, you will likely have booked yourself on a couple of shows to see the light and you're going to be hungry for more. 
because what I can teach you in a five day challenge and what I can teach for you in a one hour masterclass, just imagine you're belling up to the bar every single Wednesday to get the magic and to be seen, heard, celebrated and compensated by being an active member of this brilliant group. I would be so, so honored if you would join me. So what are we covering during the five day? We're gonna cover all the, the P's, prepare, position, prioritize, pitch like a pro, ping pong people into your world, profit, and you'll have homework to actually get some of these materials created. But here's what I know for sure. This is the part that I know for sure and I wanna just call it out. You're gonna probably, some of you are gonna be such rock stars that you're gonna say, I can do this, I don't need Nancy. But I know I'll have a whole lot more fun when I'm doing it when I'm working with Nancy and the other members of the group. And so if you are excited about that, um, I'm just gonna go back to, if you wanna talk to me, this is what you wanna do. Reach out to me and say, yes, I wanna talk to you and get my questions answered. And if you want to check out all the other ju juicy, delicious benefits that are packed into the program, open up in another browser, this link, getknowngetpaid.com forward slash BYB, because what you will see there is all the other juicy, delicious bonuses that I've packed into the program to bridge certain gaps in your skill set that may be missing in order for you to succeed more brilliantly. For example, do you need a quiz or an assessment to help ping pong people back into your world? I've got an interview to help you create that. Do you need to create your um, signature talk in the right structure so you can roll people into your pro product program or service? I've got a template that you can use to create yours. Do you need to learn how to approach meeting planners about being a paid speaking professional? I've got training in there for that. I've tried to anticipate every possible gap that you might anticipate in your journey so I could bridge it because I've been in business for 20 years and I have a brilliant ability to create amazing content that bridges those gaps and gives you the confidence to deploy the activities to your advantage. So I'm very proud of this program. I'm very proud of the results that my clients are welcoming because of the program. And I think the part of it that rewards me the most is the relationships that I've created with clients in the program who I consider friends and colleagues and champions and advocates and that I get to advocate for them too because I am not one of those transactional people. You come into my world, you're in my world forever. I will give till I can't give anymore because that's just how I roll because I know what it's like to have your whole world fall apart because things didn't go my way. And I approach my work with this level of conviction and commitment to serve because I'm so grateful for the opportunity I have to do it. If I'm your teacher, you know it. And if I'm not, I still hope that you got huge value from what it is that we talked about today. So now I just wanna check in and say, on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being, I'm so glad I made time to be here today. Where does this land for you? Is this a 10, a two? How did I do? And do you have questions for me today? Because as long as I'm here, I'm more than happy to answer questions. If you'd like to raise your hand, unmute yourself and say, hey, you didn't cover this. What about, you know, let me know. Anyone got a question? Mary Jo, Valerie. Oh, when can we talk? Lisa, Patrice, Han well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm going to type in, I think, I think it's, I think the, the, the slide, what I want you to do, Patrice, is I want you to do to getknowngetpaid.com forward slash apply. I don't know what just happened. Are you still here? Oh yeah, I want you to go to that link and just fill out the information. Then I'll send you a scheduling link and we can get you on the calendar straight away. What other questions do y'all have? This is your time. Do you have a question, Mary Jo? I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, podcasting, radio broadcasts, and um, that type of interview situation has begun to um, kind of, I, I'm getting more and more opportunities. 
Um, and so that is uh, an area that I, I certainly need to become adept at. <laughs> well, tell us, have you written a book? Or yes. You're, you're relaunching a book, isn't that right? I am. I'm relaunching a book. I, I launched uh, a year ago last June uh, called You Are Still Beloved When Your Long-Term Marriage Ends in Divorce. And uh, so I'm uh, working now to uh, create a workbook that goes along with that and relaunch it. And I have a 12-week coaching program that um, has, we're about two weeks from finishing that now um, with my first two clients. Oh, and, congratulations. Uh, so they have been a wonderful beta group and I'm, I'm very excited about that. So, so I have a comment. Mm -hmm. One of my friends is a top number, a, a top 1% divorce attorney, and she has a program called um, negotiate, uh, slay your negotiations, slay your negotiations with a narcissist. Her <laughs> expertise is working with folks who are married to narcissists and are extricating themselves from those toxic relationships. But one of the things that she told me is that January tends to be divorce month. More people get divorced in January than any other month of the year. And there's all kinds of reasons for it. It's so timely and hot to be talking about. There's another thing during the pandemic with all the sheltering in place and all the togetherness that was for some marriages welcome and for other marriages, not so much. There's going to be an avalanche of people that are going to be exiting their relationships because they can't stand another minute sharing sheltering in place with whoever that is. So to the extent that you can angle what you talk about to be hot, if you are someone who is finding yourself exiting a long-term marriage during the pandemic. Like you can angle it to the pandemic and have all kinds of opportunities to talk about that on shows that serve women, midlife and beyond women who want their final chapter to be their best chapter, right? You could have- Yeah, one. thank you. Thank and you, you could have your own show. I have thought about that. Um, that needs to be- in my future. <laughs> well, so here's what I say about that. I think it's really great to be on other sh people's shows, especially when the audiences are already established, because then as an earlier, being early in your journey and creating this empire of yours, you want to tap into an active, engaged audience of people who are already paying attention and have the interest that you have. As you grow, you may find that having your own show is something you want to do and you will have proven to yourself that you love doing it so that you'd be willing to put time and effort to producing it. But you can always just go live on your Facebook page or live in your Facebook group and bring experts into your community without having to officially launch a podcast. And that's a, a nice way to walk before you run. Yeah, I, I'm definitely not ready to, uh, to jump in there, but I thought I would do some some lives with the speakers that are going to be speaking at an event I'm holding in October. So that, that's probably a good way to jump in. And I'm also then speaking on their platforms also. Yes. Well, very, very good. Well, I'm so glad you, you, you were here. Did you get some value? Oh, definitely. Definitely. This was really good, Nancy. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm so glad you joined. Does anyone else have any questions for me or we have a few minutes here? I'm happy to answer them. Who's here is going to do the podcast visibility live lab in mid-September for a deeper dive? Just curious about that. You are very good. All right. Well, I think that I've done it. I came here to give you the value. I see Valerie's still here and Katrina's still here and Lisa's still here and um, I, I'm thrilled that you joined. I hope that you got value. I hope that it was absolutely worth every last moment of your time. So summarizing what your next step is, if you know that you want to talk to me about joining the Broadcast Your Beyond Spook Camp, you can ask for a call with me. Just go to getknowngetpaid.com forward slash apply so you can tell me a little bit about yourself so I can start the conversation knowing you before we even speak. 
If you know that you think I'm your teacher, but you want a deeper dive before we get the party started late September, go to Podcast Visibility Live Lab and claim your place at that multi-day training because we're gonna bite, break it down into bite-sized pieces so you can actually do it. And then you'll say, wow, I want more, in which case it'll be an easy yes. And if you feel like you've got absolutely everything you needed and you're made better off because you joined me today, awesome. Because that's always my intention that you will get value beyond what you expect. I'll just share something in the spirit of transparency. What I know for sure is that this is August 20. Third, right? I think it's August 23rd, whatever. Some everybody's got this summer mode. I'm having summertime. I'm getting the last dash of summer. And I'm thinking to myself, are people ready to do a one hour call or are they ready to do a deep dive over multiple days? Sort of interesting. I noticed that it was split about 50% when I looked at what was happening in my own systems. 50% wanted to come to the one hour. 50% wanted to go to the multi-day. The neat thing about the multi-day is it's in mid-September when hopefully the summer stuff is over and people are ready to get back to work. So if you're ready to get back to work in mid-September, join me for the Podcast Visibility Live Lab. You may hear some of the same information that I'm sharing with you here today, but what will be different is you'll have homework to do every night so you can make progress and have a big win before you finish. And if that's what you need to feel as though that investing 12 weeks with me would be an easy yes, then by all means do it. It's free to participate. I always deliver the value and I do it with heart, smarts, passion, and enthusiasm, which hopefully makes it fun for you to be there with me. So I wanna again, thank you all for being here live. If you have any final kudos to share, please do. We'll be rendering the replay and I will be sending it out to all of you. And I have one request. If you got value, would you be willing to share the replay with five or more of your colleagues who could benefit as you have? Would you do that for me? I would be so, so grateful. And I again want to say thanks to Direct Pay for opening the door for me to speak to their entire community. I'm deeply honored. It was a wonderful opportunity. And oh, by the way, if anybody wants to know how to make that approach, that's one of the things I can teach you in the Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp because. I teach what I do so that people can implement and have the same or even better results for themselves. So with that, I say thank you all, Lisa, Jan, Valerie, Katrina, Mary Jo, and everyone else who's here, thanks for staying. And I look forward to seeing what next we get to do together. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.